What's up, everybody? It is your girl, Tree Chanel. I am here today with Black Atmosphere and Company's mental health space. Happy Black History Month, beautiful people. I cannot express how proud I am of us, of really coming out of our shells. I know how vulnerable that can be being in this space, but you are doing it with ease. So thank you to the people that have joined me as guests here so far. And as we learn um, how to efficiently get our point across to you guys across the globe. So be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please give us a rating on our podcast. We greatly appreciate it. Um, We can't do this without you. So today's topic is about retraining your brain. What does that look like? Have you begun to retrain your brain? Let's go. This disclaimer is brought to you by Black Atmosphere and Company. We are a safe space for entrepreneurs to speak about social issues that may affect their mental health. We are simply here to help our community and business and the economical structure. We have to start from the roots of our problem to find better solutions. Black Atmosphere and Company's Eight Pillars of Life is designed to help our members and listeners get through these issues together. So we are not a mental health facility, healthcare provider. We are entrepreneurs helping one another in our journeys. All right, you guys, you heard me. Today's topic is about retraining your brain. What does that look like? Ask yourself, have you begun to retrain your brain? I need you to know this is not just about people who suffer from mental illness. Over 76% of entrepreneurs are dealing with some type of mental health issues. So issues And illness are two different things. So I don't want us to get twisted and about being hesitant of coming in this space. Um, Like I said, do you see that girl with that armor on? She is fighting against the system of oppression. You know, we're not going to keep living in oppression of our greatness because of our art, because of our love, because of our chemistry, our mental space. There are so many things that a system will try to design and attack you because of who you are in your genetic DNA code by law. And these tactics have been just placed on us. So you have to retrain your brain. So how can you retrain your brain? All right. So we're really going to get into it. 10 ways to retrain your brain. One, Create your own mantra of what your body code is trying to communicate to you. So whether that is in meditation, your prayer, your hand gestures, your movement, your posture, you have to know your body's alignment and what it is missing because your body will begin to speak to you and it is trying to get your attention. Do not ignore that. That is one. Two. Learn more about neuroplasticity to change and restruct itself. Every time the brain processes new information, neurons fire, new pathways form, and the brain begins to alter its shape and structure. So your neuroplasticity is craving for new pathways to go. And this may take some time, but don't give up and I'll t- I'll give you a bonus about what you can do about your neuroplasticity, but it is some pretty in-depth things that they don't even talk about. And people may not even be familiar with what I'm speaking on, but you have to do your research. I'm the messenger and you have to do your due diligence and get out here and begin to read books about it and not just surf the internet, read out loud um, and pronunciate these words that are bigger Um, that you may not be used to. Number three, every night before bed, try brain exercising or reading. Take naps, feed your brain for your body type and weight. If you want enhanced neural pathways, 
you'll need to enhance your diet. So a lot of fish, a lot of nuts, avocado oils, coconut oil, coconut water. I mean, if you're black, you need to be living like you are in the Caribbean, okay? Um, because we are sea creatures, okay? Um, we need to be breathing that. We need to be living that. So no one can ever take you out of your environment. They have taken us out of the environment for us to thrive, but we have to get that sunlight. We have to get those things that um, we haven't been getting in our environment. And you got to get creative. If you need a sun lamp, grab a sun lamp on Amazon if you're missing your vitamin D. But you're definitely going to need to feed your brain by all means necessary, the right things, because your brain is your gut. Those two are married, hence they kind of look alike. So get in tune with that gut, all right? Number four, expand your vocabulary. Learn a new word every day. So they have apps where you can get the word of the day and try to remember it. Let those neuropathicities like fire off. You see what I'm saying? This will help spark a multitude of neural pathways, both visual and auditorial. So give a few months for this um, to happen to train your brain because you're not going to be used to the definitions. Some of them I know on this app, I actually had it and I didn't know any of those words. I would get it through the email. And I was like, did I sign up for this? But it really worked. It it got me to really thinking about the word of the day and how I could use it in a sentence. Um, I think T.I. said he reads the dictionary. I saw his uh, daughter, um, Harris, reading the dictionary. But he understands why this is important. And he's trained his children to do that as such. Number five, use the wrong hand. Your non-dominant hand. Oh, yes. Your non-dominant hand exercises are excellent for forming new neural pathways as well as strengthening. Now, this is something that's very interesting for me. Um, It's a a good observation. I'm left-handed, but I do everything with my right hand um, as far as holding my phone, cutting with scissors. Um, I may cut my like fruits and vegetables with my left and my right. But mainly my right hand is dominant. So what I began to do is I started to hold my teacup in my left hand and I couldn't even do it. And also when I brush my teeth, I would usually do my left hand. I use my right hand. So for me, it's a very tricky world because I'm left handed and We've had to really learn how to adopt in a right-handed world. So that's what makes us unique. People try to hate on that. But, you know, we've had to become accustomed to this life because we were different. And they also used to give scholarships out for this. So I thought that was pretty interesting to use your non-dominant hand more because that will create a better neural pathway for you. Now, number six, y'all might not like this. But you're going to have to turn off the electronics. Yes. Your brain needs time to rest, honey, and process information. Place your phone on the opposite side of the room. I highly advise people to use um, the radiation stickers. I have radiation stickers on um, a couple of, like, your computer, your iPad, whatever devices you need. You need to protect that because there is a lot of radiation running through these phones every day. Could you imagine on the fingertips? of your hands you're holding this phone and what if that phone was poisonous or something like that and it's getting into your bloodstream so you really have to be mindful at least try to prevent some of it we can't stop it um but we can definitely try to um bring it down a notch because our energy is super important um in these areas so i definitely recommend Do not sleep with your phone. Like, I had to check myself, and I don't know how it kept doing that. Like, no, move away from me, because you never know what signals are being um, transmitted to you. So, be very mindful. (laughs) All right, number seven. I love seven. (laughs) But this is pretty funny. Learn how to juggle. I'm not going to juggle. I tried to juggle, and I sucked, okay? But it does work. Research has shown that this will help 
for you to be more important in formation of what you're doing and rewiring your brain. Now, the only juggling I'm doing is I'm trying to work on my tasks that I need to get done for the day. Okay. And I'm really, I've really been working on this process because, you know, as someone that's very goal oriented and that has been, um, you know, accomplishing what needs to happen, you know, it was a point where, you know, God set me down and, and showed me like, yo, what if, what if, and then those, what if scared the shit out of me because I was like, yo, what if eventually our, what ifs are becoming our reality, no matter what that is far as moving and transitioning in our life. So I want us to be better prepared. You know, that's why I'm speaking about this because I know this will help you. If you actually listen and pay attention I'm going to help you better your life because it's helping me and it's helping a lot of other people that I've been, you know, associated with. So, you know, that's what we got to do. We got to pour life into each other. Number eight is playing chess. It is a great way to create more gray matter into your brain. And what that means about the gray matter, it is how your neurons are being fired up. The less gray matter you have, the more they have died off in your brain. So it is up to you to still create this while you're in your adulthood because it can change. It is not too late, but you got to start now. So I do recommend that, you know, you begin to play mindful games, mindful meditation. Um, That's a great way. Now, number nine is mnemonic techniques. Now, this is a way to help you remember a phase or an idea with a pattern. So you may see games with patterns, numbers, and things of that nature. Um, Also, sacred geometry. Um, Man, I got some real, like, scholar stuff on my sacred geometry. And it began to really reveal itself, you know, through hair, through motion, frequencies, all of these things. Because... Your body is electricity. Like your heart pumps off electricity. So when people are like oblivious to energy, you know, energy bounces off the wall all the time. I see my aura, people auras around them every day because my, my, I don't know how, but it's a gift, but it's amazing to see. And I don't even really normally talk about it, but I mean, why not? This is the only way you're going to learn, right? Because if we not, we don't say nothing. How the hell is you going to know? You're not. And we can't keep playing guessing games with our, our powers and our greatness. You feel me? Number 10, have transparency with your team. What's going on in your space? A lot of people try to mask their um, emotions, um, lifestyle, so many things to put on this fake facade and every day try to live like that. You're living in misery if you're doing that. And I really suggest you to begin to wing that out of your life because it does you no justice, um, but probably just to get a bag. And at the end of the day, you too medicated to even really care about or even have an emotion of real life. So um, it's like celebrities, they sometimes are out of tune with real life because they are in this whole different world. So I really want people to, you know, keep yourself grounded in your root chakra. And that's really what I've been working on. I might be high elevated, but I'm really um, still at low ground level. Okay. I'm never going, no ground level, stay at ground level to keep yourself grounded and planted on that pavement. Okay. And walk at your pace. I got some bonuses um, that are really helpful. I've actually got this done where they like put this swim cap on you and then they put the goop gel in it. It feels really good um, when the cold hits you. But it's called neurofeedback therapy. This will really help you to rebalance the blue gray matter in the brain. And so they have other things that you can do. They have cognitive rehab, um, QEEG, neurofeedback assessment, neuropsychological testing. And this is a place that I went in Chicago. It's called Chicago Mind Solutions. So you can look up neurofeedback therapy um, in your area and go check them out with a consultation. Now, it may cost um, for their consultations because, hey, your mind is very important. And we want to keep these things firing up. Um, so make sure you are taking care of that good probiotics okay get in tune with it now 
reading books is super important. Now, I have these books. I've actually read Re Rewire Your Brain. Um, that is what led me here to even talk to you guys about this today. And then another one is called The Brain That Changes Itself. That's going to be my next read and Becoming Supernatural. A lot of people don't understand this life we're supernatural beings like we're really in gravity yo we're a magical being so when people like don't think that they have like these crazy superpowers and um like things that they can do with their body i just look at them like no that's not made up you just haven't tapped into your power like that's something that i didn't try to do that's just something that was in me it's got to be in you not on you Okay, and when you know that difference, you carry yourself as such, all right? And let them know that that melanin is energy and baby, it is thumping through this whole world because we are the original creators. So don't hate on my beauty, you feel me? Because they're going to try to hate on that melanin, you feel me? And we already know how much that's worth per ounce. So you can look at us like drugs. They, they treat us like drugs because that damn skin so worth so much money they out here fighting for it. You feel me? No. No, you're not. But you feel me. I want y'all to really know and get in tune with rewiring your brain so you can be the best version of yourself and to live a healthy lifestyle so you can be around to benefit from the fruits that you have placed upon this world, you know, the fruits of your labor, okay? And I just was looking like somebody was like, Black folks are forbidden fruit. Like they're they are training us to be forbidden fruit when we are the original people. Yo, if we don't wake up, God's going to really wake us up. All right. He's already waking us up. As it is Black History Month, Martin Luther King says, I have a dream. But what is dreams to a motherfucker? You feel me? You're going to hear something real deep. Uh, behind that line if you know you know so i read an article on scientific america it actually popped up on apple but i i was like yo this was really interesting it was like are your dreams making you sick and i'm like in america in the world we're taught to dream 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 big but then again they're also saying wake up wake up sleepers wake up to sleep but i'm woke but is sin is i'm sorry is dreaming a sin is it or are you supposed to be goal oriented like this was a different perspective of life and how dreaming can make you ill oh damn they don't talk about that like, damn, your dreams can make you ill because you're subconscious. We got to be mindful about how deep we go. But do we? When we're taught that we need to go explore ourselves, how is that working against us? Because of gravity, when we go higher, you're not even near that person anymore into the atmosphere. So... How are you trying to shoot shots in a motherfucking place where there's no space of time? You sound crazy. Like, we really got to put stuff in perspective because it's like that perception movie. You know how when it put the dreams into reality? Yo, this is... Man, y'all better pay attention and, and, and be alert on your people and your surroundings of your family and how... You got to be aware, you got to be alert, and you got to know the attacks. Um, It's nothing personal. It's physics. You feel me? When you learn physics and the science, like, you, you can't get mad at that because that's nature. And it's law in that. So, when you hear me say they, they, physics and science, you feel me? You may not feel me, but you can educate yourself a little bit. You know, we're not going to be naive or oblivious to things that we need to know and to make us better and um, shit, have a better understanding of life. So I'm like, dreams making you sick, but Parkinson's disease is associated with a dreamer's disease. Damn, like what? Like, oh my God. What I was saying um, in the journal for the men about if you use a lot of mental 
um space in your life, you got to beef up on your calcium. You have to do that. And that is extremely important because it will start to take from your bones. I'm like, why aren't we like talking about this? Everybody's so damn fascinated with freaking entertainment. Like we are like missing the points of us better educating our lives. Like entertainment is cool, but we really sleep on the things that we need to be woke on. Like this podcast, I'm not telling you like the way I'm saying and the way I'm delivering it is all gravy and dandy. I'm not here for that. You feel me? Like the mask is off because I'm like, what the hell going on with my body? Like when you see yourself constantly having seizures or um episodes of panic attacks, all of these things is involved with the world of of the universe. So there is some the energy is off within the universe, not in your house, it's outside. And that shit is affecting your body. So that's why your environments are super important to your life. And that's why when people say, damn, I got to get out of here. They really mean that because they know it's time to go into a space where they can really thrive of them just being that individual self of their power and their energy. So you might see a lot of people in California because California has a little bit more benefits than some of these um states because of the sun because of the beaches you know the ocean you need to be around certain things if you're a black person okay caribbean like it's no shade to other races but you know i'm I'm here to educate my people on the health issues the mental space the mental space is for everyone but when i start talking about our dna because it's it's so different in um We know that, but I get more, a little bit in depth into it because I have to, you know, nobody told me about these things. Like I had to figure out what the hell was going on with my body because I got tired of being in the hospital every damn month. And I'm like, I'm a healthy person and you're not going to make me unhealthy. Okay. I'm going to strengthen up these neurological systems. uh, Okay. The sacral pathies, honey, I'm learning all type of words because you know what? (laughs) The real wealth is your mental health all right because what you doing if you ain't got your mental health hell i'm trying to gain grasp hold of that damn thing <laughs> you feel me i'm trying to woo 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 I'm trying to get a, a grasp of it but that's super important parkin's disease is a dreamer's disease man that took me back to know that this is a dreamer's disease and there are stages in your sleep That's how this can be a warning sign to your health as you're waking up at night. Whether it's a panic attack, um, shortness of breath, it doesn't always have to be sleep apnea or insomnia. Um, But those are um, things that can as well awaken you um, through the REM. So the REM disorder is about your eye movement and your bodily movement as you sleep. Now, you have three stages um, when you sleep. One is, you know, I'm about to fall asleep and you fall asleep. And then there's the light sleep and then there's the deep sleep. Now, the deep sleep is where we begin to have the problem. Shit, we can't go to sleep and we waking up. Now, during your deep sleep, your breathing, you know, slows down, your blood pressure drops and your energy is supposed to be renewed. But for some people, it is not renewed. They are up and they're like, yo, why am I keep waking up? Because your body does not want to get you in the deep sleep. Um, But this is where your healing starts. So if you can't really get into that sleep, what are you really healing? You're not healing your body properly. Your cells need that oxygen there's so many things that just blew my mind with this research. And I was like, it makes total sense. But this is why I was like, I had to come talk to y'all about this. Because if you do not know, how can you grow? So we got to start doing techniques to help the rim. So if that rim ain't right, that's sleep, baby. Mm. No, we got to get rim right. <laughs> Shit. Uh-uh, baby. We got to get it right. So um, we're going to jump right into it. And then we're going to wrap it up, y'all. But, yo, we're going to get into the rim and then the synchropathies. I'm probably not saying that right. But the synchropathies is a big thing, as I said. Um, that rapid movement, 
is a major impact on your memory, your mental focus and your mood. So once you really start to educate yourself, it's not just about taking some pills so you can go to sleep. It's about what your brain is doing while you're trying to get into that deep sleep that you need to heal um, your body. Synchropathies, it's pretty much is a disorder. Um, Parkinson's, dementia, Alzheimer's, they're all related to this disorder. So I'm like, is this going back to the dreamer's disease? I know that's probably not even the name of it. I'm sorry, but I didn't I didn't place the name on it because I can't pronounce half of them words, y'all. Okay. But I need to learn so I can fire my neurons up. All right. Dang. But maybe this is the way God intended it so you can have learning room to grow. Um, humans only use 10% of their brain. Like... Uh, as a like a whole, like the population, 10%. So you can have a genius. They're still only using about 10% of their brain. You can go even further, but it just takes so much firing of the neurons to break past that 10%. Yo, that's why I said we're not, not dreaming big. Like we, we got to apply it. All right. Apply the dream with the actions. <laughs> so, and then you, it kind of come repetitive where it begins to stick. Um, so I don't know how we could get past that 10%. I do apologize. I thought I said, no, I did. I said 50%, um, for the last episode that people were using of their brain, but it's really 10%. So I do apologize for that. So, but I had to really go see about it. Um, I was like, y'all, what we doing? Because I, I also, like, it's not to scare you or depress you. This is to awaken you, all right? Wake your ass up, as they say in out here in these streets. You feel me? <laughs> so um, another thing I wanted to get into is by 2050, over 153 million people will have dementia. Oh, my God. I was like, so what's really causing it? Like, we are just, so I think we know the technology in, in our brains, it's 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 offsetting our brains a little bit more than it should. Um, so that's why I said, you know, get the radiation um, prevention stickers and stuff like that. Will it help? No, but hey, we only using 10% of our brain. Shit, you got room to grow, all right? <laughs> Don't get it twisted. So, cyclonopathies is the disorder and i think i'm saying it right um and the rim disorder those two go hand in hand with your sleep so i hope you guys do your research i am going to place um the words in the description boxes so you can look them up i, I really want to help people to identify the problems because i want to be a help and a solution to um, the things that's happening to us and just make ourselves aware. Um, sheesh, let's just be aware, self-awareness of ourselves, um, our eating, our emotional thinking, everything. But um, keep your eyes on the prize. So serious. Um, so with that being said, guys, I really want you to be the change you wish to see in this world. Because as I said, we have a long way to go. We're only using 10% of our brain and we're sitting here trying to judge each other or who, what, and people attitudes and all that. You don't know what people are going through. So be very mindful. Have grace. Give yourself grace. Learn to be vulnerable with yourself and the people around you. If you really trust them, then you can really let go and they're not going to use it against you. So you're going to know in your heart when that time is right. Either way, no one can heal if they are not transparent in their selves. All right. So really practice that. The mindfulness um, will help you. The pattern games, chess. There's so many gems in this podcast, this episode alone. Um that's going to help you to push through that 10%. So be the change you wish to see until we meet again, you guys. We're going to have our special guest. I'm super excited. And you know how this thing goes. I'll let you know who 
is coming on. And I'll holler at y'all later. Have a good one. Peace and love, y'all.